Uh, so in these past couple Skypes, it's been like a little saga of these um, nuclear bombs and the destruction and, and the uh, dark forces putting together this kind of um, theme of what they would like to take place. And again, I've uh, been taking part in assignments with others to um, help offset this. Uh, this experience that I had is a, uh, another follow-up, uh, another part to this series. So it's turning into a little series now. Uh, this is the third part. Okay, in this experience, I started out on the Earth. And I knew, or at least I was aware, that um, I was a part of a special type of uh, forces. It was a part of like the police or something like this. But it was more along the lines of um, like a space force. And we wore like the astronaut suits and certain things like that. And we were going through a little briefing as to what our assignment was going to be. And we needed to go to, they didn't specify what planet, but it really did um, later on in the experience when I was on the planet itself. Um, it looked a lot like Mars. It really did. Uh, there was no impressions as to which planet it was, but it really looked a lot like Mars, really reminded me of that. Um, Anyway, so we're going through our briefing on the Earth, and we're assigned these special vehicles, uh, which I did not uh, see the importance of at first, but they came into effect later on in the experience. And so we were eventually uh, dispatched to our position um, in orbit. We actually ended up in orbit outside of the Earth uh, in like a space station. And it's very interesting that there's an entire war happening outside of the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Uh, whether that's taking place in the physical or just in these uh, multi-dimensional levels uh, is another thing, but um, it's taking place. And so it was happening. There was this giant war taking place, and I knew that it was up to me and another individual to um, land on this planet and disable a giant bomb that was going to be brought to the Earth. Uh, this bomb was not a human bomb. It was not created by humans or human scientists. It was actually created by another species, which... Um, almost look like it. Al they almost look like a mix of the um, the. Uh, if you guys ever seen the alien movies, uh, like Predator versus Alien or something like that, they look like a mix of like that, but with uh, hermit crabs. It was very very interesting. They had these interesting body types. Um, but anyways, we were in orbit. Uh, we were seeing the war going on. It's all these spaceships and these explosions and things taking place. And we needed to go down to the planet. Now, I was informed of a risk. It was very interesting. I was uh, being tested very early on in the experience. Um, they said that if we go to the planet, there's a chance we might not come back uh, or we might get trapped there. And I remember some of the guys, some of the people that were there, they didn't really want to go anymore. They didn't really want to take part because they didn't want to get trapped on some uh, foreign planet. Um, but me and the other individual uh, who I was with, uh, we decided to go anyways. And so once we landed down on the planet, we finally kind of were maneuvering our way through. And it actually, it looked a lot like the Earth. But again, it looked like Mars. It looked like the Earth, but it had that red kind of dusty iron uh, look. And it was very uh, decrepit. There was all the everything was kind of torn down and really kind of ruined probably from this war that's taking place. And so anyways, uh, long story short, uh, one of the individuals that I'm with ends up getting injured. And um, I remember there was this interesting position I was in to where uh, there was all these creatures, those alien-like creatures that were closing in on our position. And I was left with this choice as to, because he was injured and he didn't want to even stand up. He was just laying flat on his belly. And I, I had this interesting choice as to, well, do I pick him up or do I leave him there? Because I knew that if I picked him up, took the time to pick him up, um, we would end up all getting caught because they were just that close. And so I decided to leave him there and he ended up getting taken away. And the idea was that I was going to follow where they were taking him uh, to try and rescue him. Um, I did never seen what happened with that. I think they actually just ended up executing him or something like this. He ended up getting consumed. Um, but what ended up happening was we ended up disabling the bomb and uh, the dark forces, they knew that we had disabled the bomb. So they activated a force field around the entire planet that eventually uh, they said that it trapped us, but it didn't end up trapping us at all. Actually, that special vehicle that we had, um, uh, that special vehicle that we were given on the Earth was actually capable of slingshotting us off the planet. 
So it was a very exciting adventure. Um, I probably didn't really do it justice with the details, um, but essentially that was the idea. We were given this task and um, given this special code to shut down the bomb. Now, I will give a detail about the bomb in that it wasn't like a nuclear bomb. It wasn't like a hydrogen bomb. Um, it was very destructive all the same, but because it was made by these um, off-world beings, they had a different kind of technology. And when I was approaching the bomb, it almost was like a black hole bomb, um, a bomb that could just open up a black hole. And I knew that it could warp time. So let's say this bomb went off um, just kind of on that planet, let's say, or wherever. Um, the idea was that it would actually open up this portal, something like a black hole, and revert time back to whenever they chose. So it could throw us back into like a Stone Age you know, and they would have all the technology and everything else, um, it would just kind of get rid of everything. And so, yeah, it was very important that we uh, had shut this down. And because, again, the, their whole idea was to uh, eventually bring it to the Earth. So that was the little experience I had to share. Thank you. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, that's beyond super duper. Um, yeah, uh, again, you want to make a group out of that uh, and let people know and... Uh, well, just see what they think. Another interesting story and adventure. That's really cool, young man. Yes. Uh, of course, this is what's happening. This is the business world outside the business world. This is the business they're doing. Uh, all this nonsense for what, uh, etc. So uh, we're here in creation. Got to deal with it.